NVIDIA back then was nothing but a PC gaming chip company. Uh, Tasha comes into our brainstorm, says, you know, it seems like the brains or the central nervous system of an autonomous vehicle is going to be a GPU. I said, you are kidding. I, I said, nobody knows that. And with that and a further study of how important uh, GPUs were going to become to in artificial intelligence, it became one of the top stocks in many of our portfolios, including our uh, genomics portfolio. ARC is a liquidity provider, uh, unlike a lot of other institutions. There are a lot of um, uh, asset managers that are momentum driven. In fact, it's part of their scoring system. If the price is going up, if the revenue growth is accelerating, buy, 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 buy. Now that's, that's a feature that a lot of portfolio managers use. Uh, we're, we're the opposite. If we see uh, one of our stocks up 20, 30, 50, 100, 200% in a short period of time, um, we will take profits. It's clearly the momentum buyers want it. They're willing to pay up dramatically. And uh, at the same time, there are probably other stocks in our portfolio that are suffering some short-term setbacks. And we think both of those are short-term moves because there is a lot of volatility, as you can tell, in our portfolios. Uh, so we're very opportunistic in terms of providing liquidity when uh, buyers want it, and, um, and uh, we are also buyers when others want liquidity. So is that one of the reasons you sold NVIDIA when you did? I know in the market, they just want to say, oh, she sold it, but you were early in NVIDIA. But like, how do you look back on that, I guess? Yeah, we um, so we bought NVIDIA when we started ARX funds in 2014 at roughly five dollars. And I remember in 2015, Tasha Kini came into our brainstorm and said, and now this is when PCs were falling. They were down, dropping at a double digit rate. NVIDIA back then was nothing but a PC gaming chip company. Uh, Tasha comes into our brainstorm, says, you know, it seems like the brains or the central nervous system of an autonomous vehicle is going to be a GPU. I said, you are kidding. I, I said, nobody knows that. And with that and a further study of how important uh, GPUs were going to become to in artificial intelligence, it became one of the top stocks in many of our portfolios, including our uh, genomics portfolio. Uh, and so if you look at our flagship portfolio, since 2014, NVIDIA is the uh, fourth uh, largest returning stock. So top is Tesla, then uh, GPTC, then Invite, a genomic stop, stock, and then Nvidia. So we were there, and so and we own it in our specialized portfolio still. Uh, but 25 times revenue for uh, for Nvidia, which is mostly in the hardware space. I, I know they're trying to get into software, and and I hope they do. You know, we we do own it in other uh, portfolios. But I also know that the hype around AI is a recipe for uh, an inventory glut at some point. I don't know if it's going to happen a year from now or a quarter from now or two years from now. Uh, and uh, But I also know that uh, the Twilio's at two and a half times revenue, uh, uh, UiPath at six or seven times revenue, uh, and that's on this year's revenue. The recent paper we wrote, which is an AI paper, it's on our ARK, ARK fund site uh, uh, shows uh, trailing 12 months. So I'm, I'm focused more on current year multiple of revenues uh, and Tesla at six to seven times. These are AI projects. And as I mentioned before, these are software projects, uh, not so much hardware. And the software pull through from AI hardware is going to be somewhere in the eight to 20 times range. So it's going to be a much bigger market. So what, whereas we were in NVIDIA have been, still are in the more specialized portfolio at a lower percentage because we are paying attention to valuation. 
um, we're on to the next big beneficiaries of artificial intelligence. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into NVIDIA's future based on Jensen Huang's keynote at Computex 2024. The title of this video is Why NVIDIA Stock is a Long-Term Bet and Why You Should Consider Buying Even After the Split. This deep dive will explore why I believe NVIDIA is poised for massive growth and why Wall Street might be missing the bigger picture. We'll break down NVIDIA's hardware roadmap, their strategic software initiatives, and the broader implications of their technology on the market. Buckle up, because there's a lot to cover. First and foremost, let's delve into NVIDIA's hardware roadmap. This roadmap is not just a set of launch dates for new products, but a strategic vision that extends all the way through 2027. It begins this year, 2024, with the launch of the Blackwell GPU. Named after the renowned mathematician David Blackwell, this GPU series promises to deliver significant advancements in both performance and power efficiency, but that's just the beginning. In 2025, NVIDIA will follow up with the Blackwell Ultra. This iteration is expected to build on the innovations of its predecessor, incorporating refined architectures and even greater computational capabilities. These improvements are essential for supporting the ever-growing demands of AI, machine learning, and high-performance computing. The roadmap doesn't stop there. In 2026, NVIDIA will introduce the Rubin GPU, named after one of the other pivotal figures in the field of mathematics. The Rubin series and its subsequent Ultra version slated for 2027 will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with GPU technology. Each step in this roadmap signifies not just an incremental improvement, but a leap in capabilities that will empower various industries to achieve more. Beyond individual GPUs, NVIDIA is making a strategic push into the realm of data centers with their Spectrum X solution. This is not just an upgrade to existing technology, but a revolutionary approach to how data centers can operate. Spectrum X is an Ethernet-based solution designed to connect vast numbers of GPUs seamlessly. By 2026, NVIDIA envisions data centers capable of connecting millions of GPUs. This capability is crucial for managing the massive data loads required for advanced AI applications and big data analytics. This morning, um, and you, when you've seen the market on the left-hand side of the screen, there he is, there's Keith with us today. Uh, Keith's got two very interesting new price targets. One on NVIDIA, he says it's going to $2,000. And the other on Microsoft, he says it's going to 500. Okay, Keith, why don't you start with NVIDIA going to 2000? Make your case. Absolutely, this is so exciting because you're talking about $1 spent in AI is gonna retrieve five, six, seven dollars in hyperscale expands. The company is firing on all cylinders. Demand is insatiable at 30 cents. If we're looking at 30 GP, ah, I have red lips today, Stuart. Yeah. We're gonna go from 30 30 bucks per share, 60 bucks per share at that number, 2,000, 2,300 pre-split. So, I mean, it, it's going to be uh, the most valuable American company at that rate. I mean, at the moment, Microsoft is worth 3.2 uh, trillion, Apple's 2.9 trillion, uh, NVIDIA is 2.6 trillion. If they keep on, as you suggest, they will be the most valuable company in America. Do they, is that legit? I think it is not only legit, but it is probable. I think that we're going to take out the number two slot this year, maybe next year at the latest. By the end of the decade, it could well be that. Now, don't forget, Apple and Microsoft are going to continue to innovate on their own. So it's going to be a tough race, but it's going to be a good one. Right. Microsoft to, to $500 a share. It's currently around 430 Again, make your case. Ethernet-based data centers have the potential to revolutionize cloud computing, offering faster data transfer rates, lower latency, and greater scalability. This makes Spectrum X a key component in NVIDIA's strategy to dominate the data center market. As more companies shift to cloud-based infrastructures and AI-driven processes, NVIDIA's solutions will become indispensable. While NVIDIA's hardware innovations are certainly impressive, the company's real secret weapon lies in its software ecosystem. Many analysts focus primarily on the hardware, but they miss the true depth of NVIDIA's offerings. NVIDIA has developed a suite of powerful software that not only complements their hardware, but also unlocks its full potential. 
A cornerstone of this software strategy is NVIDIA Inference Microservices, or NIMS. These are AI models prepackaged with everything they need to run efficiently on various hardware configurations. NIMS simplify the deployment of AI applications by abstracting away the complexities involved in adapting software to different hardware environments. This makes it easier for businesses to integrate AI into their operations without needing extensive technical expertise. NIMS are designed to provide scalable, high-performance AI inference across a wide range of applications. Whether it's real-time image recognition, natural language processing, or predictive analytics, NIMS can handle the task with efficiency and speed. This capability is particularly valuable for industries that rely on rapid decision-making based on real-time data. So here's the deal with this one. This is AI into every product suite they've got. This is legacy contracts. The case use for this at the beginning was really generative AI. Now we're going to talk about iterative or inferential AI, and this is going to play to both Microsoft and NVIDIA. So again, this is a massive, if you spend X on Microsoft or NVIDIA, you get Y in terms of your own output. That's where companies are going to find a trillion dollar opportunity every year, maybe multiple trillions. It looks like the market is in rally mode the beginnings of maybe a summer rally mode. Does it continue? I think so. I think the risk, of course, is now that we've gotten through most of the earnings that, you know, if somebody at the Fed is going to take the microphone again, Kashkari, for example, saying he wants quarters of data before we have to talk about a rate cut. So to me, this is now headline risk for the next few weeks until we get into another earnings cycle. And that's it. Okay. All good stuff. NVIDIA at 2000, Microsoft at 500, music to our ears. Keith Fitz, thanks very much indeed for joining us on a Tuesday morning. We'll see you later. All right, here we go. The market is about to open, and we're expecting a downside move for the Dow, but a modest upside move for the NASDAQ. Remember, the NASDAQ is now, or closed Friday, at an all-time high. Let's see where we go. Markets open. The Dow is off 75 points in the very early going. Look at the Dow 30. There are far more sellers than buyers. And now we're down 100 points on the Dow Industrial Average. Move on to the S&P 500. That's on the downside. Another critical piece of NVIDIA's software ecosystem is Omniverse, a real-time 3D simulation platform that allows for collaboration across a wide range of industries. Omniverse enables creators to work together in a shared virtual space, regardless of their physical location. This has profound implications for industries such as film production, game development, engineering, and scientific research. For instance, in the film and game production industries, Omniverse allows artists, animators, and engineers to collaborate on complex projects in real time. This not only speeds up the production process, but also enhances creativity and innovation by enabling seamless communication and collaboration. In engineering and scientific research, Omniverse can be used to create digital twins of real-world systems. These digital twins can be used for simulations, testing, and optimization, allowing engineers to identify potential issues and make improvements before deploying physical systems. This can save significant time and resources and lead to better, more efficient designs. Now let's talk about why all of this matters. NIMS and Omniverse are just the tip of the iceberg. NVIDIA has developed a whole suite of software products that work together seamlessly, creating a robust ecosystem. Improvements in any one part of this ecosystem benefit the entire system, creating a compounding effect that amplifies the value of NVIDIA's offerings. This integration is a huge advantage for NVIDIA. For example, advancements in GPU technology not only enhance the performance of hardware, but also unlock new capabilities in software applications like NIMS and Omniverse. This synergy between hardware and software creates a virtuous cycle of innovation and improvement. Moreover, NVIDIA's comprehensive approach to AI and machine learning provides them with a significant edge. By offering both powerful hardware and sophisticated software solutions, NVIDIA can cater to a wide range of needs across different industries. This versatility makes them an essential partner for companies looking to harness the power of AI. NVIDIA's potential in the software space is massive, with a trillion-dollar market potential according to their own earnings slides. This potential is driven by the growing demand for AI and machine learning applications, real-time simulation, and the expanding use of digital twins in industrial settings. As more industries adopt these technologies, the demand for NVIDIA's solutions will continue to grow. 
For example, in the automotive industry, NVIDIA's AI and simulation technologies are being used to develop autonomous vehicles. By providing the tools needed to simulate real-world driving conditions and train AI models, NVIDIA is playing a crucial role in bringing self-driving cars to market. In healthcare, NVIDIA's AI technologies are being used to analyze medical images, develop new drugs, and improve patient outcomes. The ability to process and analyze large volumes of data quickly and accurately is transforming the field of medicine, making it possible to diagnose diseases earlier and develop more effective treatments. With a strong hardware roadmap, a growing software business, and new markets to explore, NVIDIA is well-positioned for long-term growth. The continuous innovation in their hardware lineup ensures they remain a leader in GPU technology, while their software ecosystem amplifies the value of their hardware and opens up new revenue streams. NVIDIA's strategic moves into new domains such as Ethernet-based data centers and their commitment to advancing AI infrastructure show a forward-thinking approach. This diversification reduces reliance on any single market and positions NVIDIA to capitalize on multiple growth opportunities. For example, the push into data centers with Spectrum X not only expands NVIDIA's market, but also strengthens their position in the AI and cloud computing sectors. As businesses continue to adopt AI-driven solutions, the demand for high-performance computing infrastructure will grow, driving further demand for NVIDIA's products. Despite these compelling factors, it seems that Wall Street is focusing primarily on short-term metrics and immediate returns, potentially overlooking the broader strategic vision. This presents an opportunity for savvy investors who can see the long-term potential in NVIDIA's integrated approach to hardware and software. This is why I'm bullish on NVIDIA stock, and why I'll be buying more even if the price drops. The combination of robust hardware advancements, a compelling software ecosystem, and strategic positioning in emerging markets makes NVIDIA a long-term bet worth considering. While Wall Street might be focused on immediate financial results, the long-term potential of NVIDIA's integrated approach presents a compelling case for investment. So, if you're looking at where to put your money for long-term growth, NVIDIA should definitely be on your radar. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the tech world.